And the next type of error we are going to introduce today is parallax error. What does it mean? For example, this is a case of the voting caliper. This is a half meter rule. If I'm using the half meter rule to measure the length of the case, I must put my eyesight, I must place the ruler, the very end, the very edge where I want to take reading with the same level as my eyesight and make sure my eyesight are perpendicular to the readings. The reason being, if I'm trying to read here, I will end up seeing some extra number. So actually my reading is longer than the actual length. And if I'm reading this way, slanted, my number reading over here is actually smaller than the actual reading. So if I draw here, let's take over here. If that's the object I'm going to measure, and that's my ruler. If I'm trying to observe from here, you actually get the reading over here, which is actually longer, eventually longer. If I'm trying to read from here, you are actually getting the reading over here. Only if you get the reading from here, and that really above the marking, then you can get the actual reading. So that is about parallax error. Okay. So as we mentioned, the cause of parallax error is because the incorrect positioning of your eye, you must be perpendicular upwards. So there are ways to minimize the parallax error. Number one, take some more readings and then we take average of all the readings. Because if you try to align our asset perpendicular up above the readings, say one time we may be slightly slanting to the left. Second time, we might be slightly uh, sl slanting to the right. If we take more readings, we can minimize the errors by averaging them so that more higher possibility we are having a reading which we are actually putting our eyesight just nice above the readings. So second one is to ensure your eye level is perpendicular to the scale of to perpendicular to the reading, which is what we try to do just now. Thirdly, use a thin ruler because if you're using a very thick ruler, it's very hard for you to align your eyesight because it's the item itself is further away. So with a thinner ruler, it will be more accurate. And if you are using a thick ruler like this half meter rule, instead of measuring the length as using a normal ruler, it's better for you to lift it up so that the skew, the marking can touch the object itself. This way, we can measure it, we can have a more accurate reading. So the four ways to minimize the par parallax error, take more readings and then take average. Make sure your eyesight are perpendicular to the marking. Use a thinner ruler or make sure your markings, your scales are touching the object you're measuring.